Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Um, so we're here with a Whip Wednesday video. Um, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. So, uh, we're here with another Whip Wednesday video. I wanted to let you know, um, you guys know what's going on. Like, what projects I have going on this week. <laughs> um, this has grown a lot. Um, this is the Victorian Stitches, uh, Victorian Stitch Sampler from Jada and Stitches. I believe this was in 2018 that she did this. Now, I think I'm going to make this, like, for all of the blankets that I'm doing in the Ferris wheel. Um, because it just comes out really nice looking. Um, the, the granny square blankets that I started already with the Ferris wheel, I'm going to keep going with those. But the rest of the colors of the Ferris wheel, I think I'm going to do this blanket. Or I might do something different. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But this is what it looks like. This is how... Ooh, hello. This is how big it is. It's... Um, yeah, it's, it's grown a lot. Um, so I think I am... Hold on one second. a little bit better. Um, I think I'm on June. Let's see. January, February, March, April, April, May. May is the uh, trying slanted triangles and then June. Yeah, I'm on June and I'm about to go to July and I'm on my last cake of imaginary garden that I had. So I'm probably going to do um, about half the cake in June and the other half will be July and then I'm going to have to reorder <laughs> some yarn. Um, now when I order the yarn again I'm going to um, try to get all the colors that I need all at once. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I can try. So there's one whip, which is getting to be really big. Um, I'm using a five millimeter hook on that and um, Lion Brand Ferris Wheel yarn, which is one of my favorite yarns. Okay. And I think I did link the website uh, for Winding Road Crochet in my la uh, one of my last videos. This is her C to C snowman scarf. Now, um, I have two of these going at the same time. Just because I got tired of working with the same color, so then I decided to make a purple one. Um, so the snowman's gonna go down here, like his face and everything like that, and his carrot nose. And you use buttons, <coughs> excuse me, you use buttons for the, um, the, his mouth and his eyes. And then she has a part in there where, I'm sorry, it's not cooperating, um, where she tells you how to make the carrot nose. So this is coming along good. I'm just going to make them like this for right now. And then when it comes time to, um, put the buttons on. I have to, I'm waiting for the buttons to come in the mail. Um, so when those come, I will put them on. And so that's what it looks like. So snowman's supposed to be down here. This is supposed to be the brim of the hat. And then this is supposed to be the hat. And I think I'll put pom poms on some of them at the end of the hat, but others, I don't think I will. So there's that one, and then I have another one that I'm working on, and I know most of you are going to know what this yarn is, 
and I only have a couple skeins of it, so I figured I might as well use it. Just sitting in my stash doing nothing. This is the Premier uh, Just Yarn Flowers. And I don't remember the color of this. Um, but I had gotten a whole bunch of it and um, in different colors and all the colors my Dollar Tree had. And um, I really loved it. And um, it was it was just really pretty. So I didn't make a brim of the hat to this one because I didn't have a color that quite matched um, what I'm sorry. Um, what color this is? It's like a peachy pink mixed with like a light pink and some purple going on. So let me just try to get the camera to focus here. The sleigh is not doing justice, is it? Yeah, okay, it was helping. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, um, and then the white, the white I'm using is just Red Heart Super Saver. There's nothing special about it. It's just Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I didn't realize how much white Red Heart Super Saver I had <laughs> until I went looking for white for this project. Um, so, there's that, and I'm just going to put that down. So, now, um, Ginger the Yarn Geek actually inspired me to take apart, well, frog, my original idea of making a scarf with, um, this Bernat Baby blanket yarn, which is just purples and blues and grays and whites, or not gray, it's like a tannish gray, um, and actually making a cowl with it. So it's going to be, it'll, it'll be able to go up like over my mouth and my nose if I wanted to. Um, so it's about 20 stitches, sorry, across. And I'm just working back and forth, back and forth. I'm using a 10 millimeter clover hook. Um, I've never used a clover before. I actually like it. Um, this is my, a friend of mine bought this for me for my birthday a couple years ago. And I just, it's just, just been sitting there. It hasn't been doing anything. And I was like, I wonder if I use a bigger hook, would it make it easier to crochet? Cause I was using an eight millimeter, which it recommends, and my hands were hurting. Even with the ergonomic hook, my hands were hurting bad. So, but I went up two hook sizes to a 10 millimeter and my hands don't hurt anymore. I'm trying to crochet with it. That's why it still hasn't gotten done because my hands were hurting and then I increased my hook size and that pretty much eliminated that. I have the hat to that. I gotta find that and show you guys on Friday. Um, okay, so there's that. And then this is a corner to corner blanket that I'm making for somebody in my family. Um, I showed you guys this before. It was bigger before, but I had to frog it. Um, it's just Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in the color Wildflowers. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of disheveled a little bit. It's been through a lot. It's been tossed around and everything. So, But um, I had to frog the whole thing that I had done already. It was like half the blanket was done. I had to frog all that and um, go down half a hook size. I was using a six millimeter and it was just coming out like too, too gappy. Like there was, the, the holes were too big. So I went to a five and a half millimeter and um, it's actually better. It's better. It's taking a little longer, but at least I know that the 
spaces are not so big but this is what it looks wor like worked up in corner to corner I actually kind of like it it does look like wild wildflowers to me like the way the the colors are like splotched all over the place it, it really does I, I like it I hope they like it <laughs> but um there's that um the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys for this video is um this is a UFO it it's I haven't picked this up in I, I can't tell you the last time I worked on this actually um I love this yarn and it's actually Hobby Lobby I love this yarn <laughs> and I do love this yarn very much I just can't figure out what I want out of it like I don't I can't figure out what I want it to be so I keep frogging it and I keep trying different things and it's just not like I was making little granny squares um, out of it but it just wasn't I was like no I don't think so I don't think you know this is gonna work and then I started making a big granny square and um this is the color this is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn Prince, I think it's called print, P-R-I-N-T, um, and this is the color Strawberry Jam, and I really love this color. I'm a big pink, and I, I love pink a lot, um, but it, it's coming out really wonky. I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna frog it. Um, let me know in the comments if you have some ideas of what this should be. I have I have about three skeins worth of it and I think each skein is like 251 yards so I don't have enough to make a cardigan which is what I really would like out of it um but I should have enough to make like a throw blanket or a lapgan something like that um, I've made no progress on my virus uh, meets granny shawl. <laughs> I've been working on the, all these other things. Um, but hopefully I can get that finished. That's what's in this bag. It's I'll show you guys. It's my um, virus meets granny shawl. And that's what I have. No, I just pulled out my stitches. Oh, well. Say lovey. Um, this is the virus meets granny shawl. I got a little bit of the virus part done. Um, so I'll probably frog this whole row back. The one I just pulled my stitches out of. Um, and uh, cause I gotta, I gotta recount and make sure that I have the right amount. So that, you know, it is what it is. That's okay. That's my fault for not putting a stitch marker in the, uh, in there. It's okay. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I forget or I get too tired and just don't do it. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Um, oh, so in case you're wondering about the Lion Brand Ferris wheel, um, I know I showed you guys this blanket that I'm making, the Jada and Stitches, um, Victorian Stitch Sampler from 2018. Um, so this color is Imaginary Garden. I have this color, which is Full Moon, which is just, sorry, different, um, blues, shades of blue. Then I have, um, I have 
wild violets, which I only have like three quarters of a cake of this, but it's pinks and purples and grays, and it's really pretty. I like it. Um, so I got that, and then I have two of these. And, um, I mean, I'm going to start them, you know, and then when I can get more of the yarn, I'll get more of the yarn. Um, this is called, uh, Buttercup. So it's like mustards and, uh, oranges and blues, like a burnt orange almost. I don't know if that's coming up correct on camera. And then it's got like a, um almost like a, uh, I don't know what you call that color, that color, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really pretty, I like it, so there's that, I have two of those, I have one of the wild violets, and then I have I have one full cake of the full moon. I have one ball, one, I have another one, and another one. So I have, I probably have about three cakes here. So I'll probably have to order another three. It seems to take one cake, um, for every two months that I do on the blanket. Um, but, I mean, like, that's just me. It doesn't have to be that big. I just wanted really wide sections of the different uh, stitches of the month. So, um, but, <clears throat> yeah, that is pretty much it. Um... Oh, this is my <laughs> this is my knitted scarf. I don't I don't think I've done any more since last time, um, but I'll show it to you anyway because it is a whip. So let me try to stretch it out so you guys can see it without losing my stitches, please. Thank you. So that's what it is. Um. In case you guys haven't seen that video where I showed this last time, um, I am using Lion Brand Mandala in the colored Wizard. Wizard? Yes, Wizard. Um, and like I do with about 95% of the Mandala cakes that I use, whether it's the baby or just the regular mandala, the sequence, any of that, any mandala cake I normally use, I basically take the cake apart, I cut the colors apart, and I put the colors in an order that's pleasing to me. So I rearrange the colors of the wizard to be a um, rainbow, or rainbow-ish. So um, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm working on, so, and that's it, but, um, yeah, if you liked my video, please, uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button, and, um, like, share, and subscribe, guys, hit the notification bell, comment, share this video if you can, um, I greatly appreciate it, and, Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.